Hi, what's up, guys? This is Harshita. Thank you so much for watching this video. First and the foremost thing, welcome back to this channel. Um, like. I don't know what to say coming back to this channel and making videos after such a long time like I think more than an year I think I took a break from YouTube uh, that is a different story I will be making a separate video on why I was not posting videos and I took one year or more than one year gap on YouTube but that is a different topic today is a really it is going to be a very very crazy day because today I'm going to be coloring my hair for the first time, for the very, very first time. I'm super nervous. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Ignore this mess because I just now washed my hair and it's completely dry right now. As you can see, I have super curly hair. And um, yeah, I'm going to be coloring my hair purple this time. I have this Streaks like, um, Ultra Highlights Highlighting Kit. It's in the shade Purple Topaz. And... I'm gonna be coloring my hair finally like this was in my 2022 bucket list and it kept on you know going on going on going on i kept on extending it and finally in 2023 it has finally come and today i'm gonna be finally coloring my hair okay i have all the things ready with me here on the table so safety first let's start with that so guys, I'm gonna be giving a voiceover behind this video because I just realized that this video is gonna be super super long and I have talked really shit in this video. So, so much is happening. So, I'm gonna be giving a voiceover here. So, as you can see, I have applied Vaseline and, uh, you know, uh, partitioning my hair into four equal parts. I'm gonna be using scrunchies for it to, you know, evenly uh, spread out and uh, do all the four partitions. So yeah, first step is uh, mixing the blonder and the developer. So let's do that. I've taken a glass ball. Make sure you don't take any steel ball. You can take glass or plastic ball, but don't take a steel ball. Uh, the bleach may react to it. So here, make sure not to inhale the blonder powder or the developer in any way. It can be really injurious to health, and it's really pungent odor. Jai Mata Di. At first, I was really, really scared, but as and when I got used to it, I just, you know, uh, did my hands quickly because you should not be uh, leaving the bleach for a longer period of time. Just apply it to your hair and, you know, uh, this crunchy was making a little bit of uh, mess for me, so I think I just removed it and, you know, just went for it. So basically here you can see I have uh, applied bleach just to the portion of my hair which is below my face. So only that portion I have uh, uh, tried to bleach it and only that portion I am going to be coloring. Another mistake which I did which you can see is uh, the bleach uh, by mistakenly touched my face. It was kind of burning uh, so make sure not to to you know touch the bleach to any of the skin parts and here i didn't have any aluminium foil so i just used a plastic wrap and used a cloth pin for it um so this is you can't help this is just me here struggling with the first portion of hair so like this i did all the four portions of hair and uh, you know properly uh, you know covered it with the plastic wrap uh, with the cloth pin so that it remains moist and uh, works well for my hair guys just a notice i'm touching this main chhu rahi hu aur ye bahut garam lag raha hai mujhe ye to bahut zyada garam ho gaya hai just hope i just to go acche se aa jaye please please Hi guys, it's been more than 30 minutes, I think. 40 minutes. Let's open and check. I can see the brown. Oh my god. 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 There's no going back. I mean, it's looking nice. Okay, let's put the other one. I kid you not, this has become so hot. 
Oh my god, it's still a little bit warm. Okay, little bit black is there inside, which I don't mind, I think. Okay, this is black is there still. I didn't apply it well. Okay. Okay, so looking at the situation, I guess um I'm pretty happy with it. But uh these strands, the black ones, I didn't coat them well with bleach. So can't help. And even these strands, like the back side, I couldn't reach the back side well, I guess. But the front ones have been coated really well. So yeah, so now I'm gonna go and uh, uh, wash it with shampoo and I'll be back. Hi guys, <laughs> this is after drying my hair. I shampooed it with my regular shampoo because clearly they didn't give any shampoo. But <laughs> I don't know, I'm just funny. I have mixed feelings. I mean, this is just halfway down there. I still need to add purple to this color. But when I thought it, the bleach, I thought uh, it will just go on to just um, like eight or seven level. But this is clearly like level three or two, I guess. It's not that. I didn't expect it like this much light. I thought thoda brown ho jayega bas kyunki mere to virgin baal the ek bar bhi color nahi karwaya hai ek bar bhi bleach nahi karwaya hai. So I think maine kuch zyada hi bleach laga diya ya fir I kept it for a long time. I don't know but um I look like a chhapri. I know that matlab pehle pehla reaction to chhapri hi hoga but um, yeah this is also a kind of vibes. Maybe I I will never try this kind of color to my hair, but um, yeah, let's go for the purple now. And um, I just I just really hope there is no going back now because my bal ho chukhe already. And uh, yeah, let's go for the purple. I just hope for the best. Yeah. So even for the second step that is coloring I divided my hair into uh, two parts with the help of scrunchies and uh, yet again starting the process I took the colorant I mix it in a glass bowl and it was really dark violet I put on the gloves and uh, first I tried to color it with the help of a brush but wo utna kuch jam nahi raha tha so I was like let get our hands dirty and uh, I did it with my hand. I was coating each and every stand with the uh, bhar bhar ke color, and uh, it was really, really dark violet. As you can see, it took me a lot of time. Like literally, ek ek baal ko nikal nikal ke main color kar rahi hu. And you see, raat ho chuki hai already. My brother also came to help me out, and uh, yeah, so it like. Time lapse me I have put in, but uh, the real time it was like one hour or maybe more than one hour. I just took to you know complete the whole head, and uh, finally जो बच्चा कुछ कलर था लगा लिया and that was it. It's a wrap. I just kept the color for like thirty to forty minutes and washed it off with shampoo. Hi guys, it's the next day. I just kept the color for like 30 to 40 minutes and then uh, wash it off with shampoo. And also, I used the conditioner which was given in the pack. And yeah, it's the next day. I just dried my hair and you know, kind of set it, blow dry it, and everything. And this is how the color is looking. And I'm actually impressed a lot with it. Like I didn't knew that it will become so bright violet. But yeah, this is how my hair is looking right now. I think um, in the front part I uh, bleached it very well, and that's why I think you can see the bright violet over here in the front section. But whereas in the back you can see there is a little bit of copper or you know pinkish tint. I mean in the camera it's it's looking like brown, but here in person when I'm seeing it's looking like copper and um, a little bit you know little a light pinkish kind of tint because I couldn't reach the back of my hair and couldn't bleach it really well and. <clears throat> Overall, I think when it gets mixed up with my black hair and everything, I guess it's looking pretty decent. But the violet is not showing that much in the camera, I guess, and the color is also fluctuating because of the light. Um, 
yesterday i couldn't film it because uh, there was no natural light this is how my hair looks in natural light without any filters or anything and i am actually pretty impressed and i'm pretty like not a bad job i did on my first try i mean this was the first time and uh, obviously next time if i uh, go on for coloring i will go for some more bright colors i think for uh, brightening up my hair because uh, bleach to ho gaya and now i don't think so i need to bleach it again for using any other color so i think uh, if this starts fading off then i think i can use any other color or any new color maybe red or maybe we can try blue as well but right now for the first time if i've tried um pretty decent i don't know why it's looking like brown in the camera but here if i'm saying it's violet and you know shades of violet with a little bit of uh, faded violet like pinkish tone and copper and um, yeah it's looking pretty good and i'm kind of impressed and happy with how my hair looks i mean yeah finally we colored our hair it's not looking this bright like like one in the pack but i think it's pretty good pretty uh, decent for the price as well and yeah i deliberately worn white t-shirt so that the color can show and you can really see the correct color over here so yeah i think this is it let me show you in sunlight as well okay so this is how my hair looks in sunlight it's pretty violet okay so yeah this is how my hair is looking after uh, all the jamela of uh, one day so um a couple of things which i want to tell you if you try uh, coloring your hair for the first time at home if you decide to do it on yourself uh, then um, it will take half a day because yesterday i started at 4 o'clock and it ended up at 7:30 7:45ish so make sure uh, you take the help of someone uh, to really reach the back of your hair and you know coat it really well with bleach and then again with color make sure to take the help of someone your friend your relative your mom anyone but uh, make sure to take help i mean i had my mom but i did it myself anyway and one more thing is use aluminum foil i didn't have aluminum foil so i just used plastic wraps and then you know used cloth pens over it to just secure it really well but if you have aluminum foil please go for it if you don't have aluminum foil you can use those um, plastic cling wraps which uh, which we get in the market to you know cover uh, chapatis or rotis or hot stuffs you can use that also but uh, make sure it's re really coated at least for bleach make sure to coat it really well and cover it and uh, at least keep it up for a minimum 30 minutes according to which brand you are using make sure to read the leaflet instruction leaflet very carefully before going on anything make sure to do your research watch a lot of videos on youtube and then only go for it understand the whole process of it and then only go for it and uh, one more thing is um if you want your hair to be more uh, uh, if you want your color to be more bright you need to keep the bleach for more than uh, you know uh, normal time like for example i uh, in the leaflet it was written as 30 minutes but i wanted it to, to be more blonde so i went for like 40 minutes and then i removed and washed it off so yeah and that was it <laughs> the most important thing which no one tells about is after care after you have colored your hair after you have dried it make sure to apply hair serums make sure to you know really uh, don't uh, don't dry it aggressively with towel make sure to use soft towels and uh, you know make sure to use silk scrunchies and not regular rubber bands and uh, don't put too much pressure on your hair after uh, just hair coloring or hair bleaching because your hair is still uh, you know fragile and it can break so yeah uh, after care is very very important make sure to use the correct shampoo and conditioner for your uh, colored hair and um, yeah uh, so many people leave conditioner and just you know shampoo it and uh, get off with it but conditioner is very very important Sh shampoo is basically for your scalp and conditioner is for your length which which clearly you know adds the bulk to your uh, hair so yeah conditioner is very very important i use the love beauty and planet ka um, anti frizz uh, shampoo and conditioner the lavender version so yeah you can go for it it's very nice the conditioner is bomb so really uh, so conditioner is a must and uh, don't comb it aggressively your hair may break off and um, yeah use hair serums i use the streaks ka only hair serum it's very tiny it's travel friendly and this small tiny bottle will come for like to your five months like that so yeah use hair serums and you know take proper care of your hair braid it really well and um, yeah that is all after care after you have done uh, bleaching or you have colored your hair so this was the pack which i used it's the streaks ultra light highlighting kit 
gem collection you can take the screenshot of it if you want or i'll put it over here uh this was really nice it's basically a highlighting kit for one or two strands maybe but i used the uh, i used it for half of my hair so uh for me it took two boxes of it but uh, if you have shorter hair or if you just want highlighting you can go for one pack but if you have more than uh, uh, like uh, more longer hair than mine then i think uh, do pack become par jayenge so yeah that's a thing but uh, all in all it's a really good product i like i really like the bleach and the everything it's just really well but uh, just one mistake which i did इस पीछे के बाल अच्छे से मैंने ब्लीच नहीं किए जिसकी वजह से वो कलर इतना ब्राइट शो नहीं कर रहा है सामने के बाल सी इट्स लुकिंग सामने के बाल इट्स लुकिंग पर्पल एंड वॉयलेट बट एट द बैक इट्स अ लिटिल बेट ऑफ कॉपर एंड यू नो शेड्स ऑफ वॉयलेट लाइटर शेड्स ऑफ वॉयलेट एंड कैमरा पे पता नहीं क्या कलर कोडिंग हो रहा है इट्स नॉट पिकिंग अप द कलर बट इन पर्सन वेन आई सी इट इट्स लॉक इट्स प्रॉपर वॉयलेट इट्स नॉट पर्पल इट्स वॉयलेट सो या इट्स लुकिंग प्रीटी गुड एंड प्रीटी डिसेंट आई थिंक आई एम I quite really like this color, and um, yeah, I really want to you know try and experiment with more and more colors in the coming days, and yeah, I think this year will be uh, full of um, hair experiments. I guess every hair type is different, every body is different. Make sure to do your research before going for any type of coloring, and if you're going for salon, it's very good. You can just explain them what you want, and they'll just do it for you. So yeah. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I I just really promise that this year I will be consistent on YouTube and Instagram as well. If you are not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Just go and follow me on Instagram. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll meet you super soon in my next video. Until then, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye bye.